Welcome to this episode with John's Think About. Today we're going to fry some jumbo restaurant style franks. I bought these at Walmart. I did not realize there was only five in there when I bought it. But we put them on our stove. And I turned it up to nine. I turned it to about eight to go it to kind of cook fast. And we got it cooking here. I do is kind of move them around with your tongs. Now I didn't put anything in the pan besides the hot dog. So we want them to cook. Now we are going to put them on a potato bun, hot dog bun, that are potato bread. Walmart didn't have regular um, hot dog buns, so this is what they gave me. So we'll try it use the paper plate so we don't have any um, dishes to wash and we'll sit here and watch them cook these are skinless which I don't know what that means exactly but but hey so, I don't know, people will say all kinds of stuff from what's in hot dogs. I don't believe it. But I really don't want to know either because I like hot dogs and don't want it to be spilling off me. But I really don't think it's intestines and stuff like that. So I think it's just like leftover pieces of meat and stuff like that. Someone once told me they're made of chicken lips. Chickens don't have lips, so I don't know what they were talking about. So we just move them around a little, get them nice, crisp, nice and warm. Something you can cook on the grill. I would cook these on the grill for you, but right now it's raining here in Missouri, so we're not gonna do that. Stay out there and get my phone wet. Now, I don't know what you people like on your hot dogs. Uh, a lot of people like mustard, relish, ketchup. Sometimes they put uh, onion on them. I don't mind onion if it's chopped onion. Um, Those the Chicago dogs have all kinds of stuff on them. So, I'm not sure. It all depends what you like. You know, one guy put must mayonnaise on his. I'm not that. Mayonnaise is all right, but not for my heart. I'm more of a mustard person. Mustard and onion. I like relish, but relish tends to make the bun kind of soft. And I don't really like that. So. Now we're gonna turn these. So it seems to be cooking really good on one side. One end, but not the other. So we're gonna turn. And people are like, well, people know how to cook all that. Well, not everybody. I mean, we forget a lot of kids today raise themselves. And a lot of people cook, don't cook, they go out to eat. But sometimes it's just easier to stay home and make a hot dog and chips. This way you just have them all done right here. You can cook it in the microwave, which I have, for about two minutes, about a minute and a half. They get really pumpy and pop. A lot of people put them in water. So I used to make hot dogs, put them in wa water, then boil them. And they kind of split. But I don't know. I just feel like having a fried hot dog. So. Monday. Rainy. I like to put salt on my ketchup. I don't make that as enough salt. That's just my feeling. So. And all you do is just cook it to your desire temp that you want and how it feels. 
cook a hot dog you just get it to where you want it and you just turn it off slower you are the slower the temperature the slower it cooks I wanted mine to go kind of fast so I set it up and I want it to kind of burn on the outside so that's why I put higher temperature on mine at eight instead of rest so well that's how you cook a hot dog I hope you enjoy this video I hope you like it um, please tell your friends and share it. And we thank you so very much. And, uh, always try cooking something and have a great day.